When wine legend Oz Clark took top gears, James May, on a wine trail all around France. What's the first thing that comes in your mind about that wine? Fruit. <laughs> Forget Le Vin Francais. It's all about our Oz going off on his very own wine tour around Devon. I promise you, it's much more beautiful than France. But of course, it's not as well known for its wine, which is a shame because Oz and his new chauffeur Lottie uncork some real beauties. The thing about girls is they're they've got much better palates than blokes have. Much more refined, much more sensitive palates than than we've got, and. Um, much easier on the eye. Oh, bless you. Well, I'm Sam. Must be enjoying myself so far. I'm just drifting along in this gorgeous sort of summery middle of England kind of feel. I don't ever want you to drive any faster than this. <laughs> and our first stop is to Yilston Vineyard in Bickley. A vineyard. Okay, here we go. Wow. <laughs> That's really beautiful. Oh, the oh, most incredible view. The village green, the pub, the church. So English. And this is the oldest vineyard in Devon. But you say English. That doesn't seem English, does it, having a vineyard? Are vineyards always on slopes? It's so important in, in many vineyards, but particularly in England. Because in England, we've got two things. We haven't got enough sun, and we've got too much rain. Now, if you're on a slope, the rain comes down, and it just all dribbles off down to the bottom there and the vines can't pick it up. If the vines pick up too much rain, the grapes get fatter and bigger and tasteless and full of water. This slope here runs down to the south. It's in a little amphitheatre. So in the south you get you catch the morning sun, you get all the midday sun, you also catch some of the evening sun, you get as much sun as there is. You get it. I sometimes think that if you really want to understand the wine, get to the absolute heart of it. You've got to walk in the vineyard where it was grown. I've never actually done that before. I've never been in one and you get such a feeling of history. It's just so beautiful. <sighs> Where's the wine then? Did you hide it? Where is it? Are you going to surprise me with it? Yes, I'm going to. Where? It's up there. Oh, Oz, you're kidding me. It's all the way back up. I hate you. <laughs> it's your moment. But you, of course, as a girl, are the designated driver. So don't don't um, knock it back. I'm going to show you what you have to do. Look what I do. Swirl, sniff, sip, suck for air, and spit. Yeah. You get all the flavour, mm -hmm. and you don't get any of the alcohol. Ooh. It just floats like a tiny cloud over your palate. <laughs> 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 It's not bad. That's pretty good trajectory, that. Great. It's time to try one of their award-winning wines. And <laughs> it's got bubbles. Yes. Are you, you're laughing still. I am very, very good at opening fizz, actually. I have to say. Where do you want me to stand? No, I promise you. No, Are I'm you not sure? Yes. Rule number one about fizz. I'm not aiming when you're it at you. It, don't aim it at anybody it at, at all. Look, watch this. Watch what? Watch. Listen. Beautifully done. Oh, yes. Very oh, of course, I am. It smells biscuity. And that's the mark of good sparkling wine. Now, cheap sparkling wine just tastes like thin wine with bubbles in it. But when it's done properly and the yeast has given that biscuity flavour, it's magic. I think that England has got such, mm. such a, a chance of making its mark mm. in the sparkling wine world. I've been doing my homework, you know. Oh? No. I have a little surprise for you. I'm going to take you to Knight's Hayes Court, the oldest vineyard to the newest vineyard in Devon. Move oh. down. Oh, yes, let's get the top off. A National Trust property near Tiverton, Knight's Hayes Court, has recently restored its Victorian kitchen garden. And I've got a little rosé treat for us. <laughs> this is your secret, is it? What do you think? Oh, I don't know. It's quite beautiful. It's a little small, but I like to call it home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Oz, keep up. Look, 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 look. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is my secret. No. Look at it. Secret what a garden. Fantastic looking place. Isn't it incredible? It's just oh, amazing. Oh, very excited by it. So excited. These great walled gardens in the oldest, they, they wouldn't always have vines. This is quite, quite special. And these look really young, these. Now look, look how thin that trunk is there. I mean, oh, there is some crop on it. I mean, this could be the first crop of these. No, actually, this is the second crop. 
They did the first crop last year. They've got some bottles of wine. And my little surprise to you is that we're going to be the first to try it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. How excited are you? Um, this, this is quite exciting, this, because I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be like. Oh, look, a little bit of fizz in it. I was going to say, it looks a little bit effervescent, yeah. doesn't it? Nice. It's a little creamy foam around the top of the glass. A sort of a necklace around the top of the wine. That's raspberries. And it's it's light. Look at the colour through it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like the raspberries, the strawberries, the apples. It's like a wine of a kitchen garden. In 20 years' time, it might be a world classic for all we know. So, what have we got in store next, then? That'd be telling. What? <laughs> well, I just hope none of my friends can see us. I mean, really. <laughs> I take you out, I thought enough of this driving business, I take you on a nice booze cruise, and what happens? Madam here with green feathers and a, what is it, oh, is, it a, is it a parasol or is it an umbrella? It's a bit of both, I'm protecting myself from all the elements. So this is a booze cruise, booze. you might say, where is the booze? I, I couldn't agree with you more. Well apparently we're off to sample some wine from what started as a community project, Pebble Bed Vineyard. So named as it underlies the Budley Salted and Pebble Beds near Topsham. Their first rosé won a gold medal, and the local pub where it's served is unusual because you can't reach it by car. I don't know about you, Lottie, I'm up for this. Yes. Wonderful old pub here, surrounded by water, beautiful Devon evening. And these are the ones from the Pebble Bed Vineyard. Oh, look at this, so important for English wine, screw caps. Yeah. Screw caps are the best way of keeping wine fresh. Corks are not nearly so good. If a wine's delicate, you don't want anything like a cork in touch with in, in touch with the liquid screw cap the best what's so lovely about this is we've got locally produced wine made in the surrounding countryside and actually enjoyed in a local pub say we were stuck in france in the middle of burgundy or somewhere we're not going to say oh, i think i'll have a glass of australian chardonnay of course we're not going to we're going to say which village is that can i have some of that wine well england is the same these guys in england they're boutique wineries they're small little estates they're not like you know great big australian or californian brands it's, they couldn't be more different now really you see the color is just oh, so beautiful that. it's a girl's drink in the past isn't it, it always has been rosé all men you know they yeah. don't really want to drink it metrosexual but, like me though you see but i can cope with that it's a summer's evening drink isn't it yeah it's just so isn't it fantastic <laughs> Thank you, Otters, for a really lovely day. Had a good time? Yeah, I've had a wonderful this time. This wine thing's not too bad, is it? Well, you know, it's a struggle to drink. I'm it's learning how. <laughs> and for more of our delightful Devon wine trail, tune in tomorrow. And Lottie is here, fresh from the first part of your <laughs> tasting tour, and you've brought lots of goodies with you. They're from three different vineyards, English vineyards in Devon. Fantastic wine. What have you bought? A selection um, of rosé, white and champagne? Well, a kind of a champagne. It's a fizzy wine. We can't call it champagne because we're not in the champagne region. But oh, it's, oh. I think it's far better between you and me. Um, <laughs> well, should we go with the pebble bed? This is from yeah. Topsham and it is a delightful white wine. And the wonderful thing about the white wines in England are they're crisp, they're crystalline, they're fresh and they're dry. Try that. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Right. You want to get a nice smell. Very citrusy to mm -hmm. start with. Mmm. <laughs> mm, that's nice. Mm. It's a lovely full. It's full, but it's light, isn't it? You could drink quite a lot of it, and it's only 11%. So the next one, this one came from Knight's Hayes Court, and this is a lovely kitchen garden, and Oz was over the moon because he was the first person to try this wine. It's the first year they've made it. Oh, okay. And it's a rosé, mm -hmm. and it's got, well, it, I think it's got certainly got flavours of fruit in there from the garden that it's mm. grown in. So, can you, well, you can do change the glasses then? Yeah, we've got some glasses just here, so we'll just pour that in. It's Look got a it, lovely colour. Pretty colour. He says it'll get darker as it ages, but at the right. moment it's just a really pretty raspberry pink. Mm -hmm. And actually, that matches the flavour. It's got raspberries in there. It's got peachy flavour. It's it smells pretty fruity. It tastes like cordial. It oh, is a bit. Oh, well, it tastes as a kitchen garden that it came out of. That's what mm. I find it because there were raspberries and strawberries, everything mm. growing there. <laughs> Now, if we want fizz, this is my yeah. favourite. This came from Yellstone. They also make wines. This is only 14, about £14.50 a bottle. Okay. Wow. That's not bad. It is, I think, nicer than some of the champagnes I've had in my time. Right, we're celebrating now. Woo! Well, that's because it's actually quite warm. That's why it's... Beauty, that one. Okay, mm. so, 
Do you tilt the glass yes, when you pour? Do. So it just helps. It's very, very bubbly, though. The thing that I notice with this, it's very biscuity and it's very yeasty. And yes. that's a sign of a very good champagne. Lovely. That is really beautiful. Mm. It's so good. Very fresh. You don't spit that, you swallow it. Not it's acidic at all. Yeah. That's lovely. Do you know, I drink wine from all over the world, South Africa, France, wherever, but these wines really well amongst them. And to think they're from Devon, it's quite incredible, really. We should be so proud because English wine is so good nowadays. I mean, it's getting better and better. Well, I'll tell you what, Lottie, on that note, let's have a toast to English wine. Cheers. Cheers. There we are. Lovely. Cheers. Cheers.